going to talk about our KED. What is a KED? The Kendrick Extraction Device or a short backboard. First off, I'm going to make sure I have my proper PPE on, my glasses, my gloves, and my partner Cindy will have her proper PPE on. I'm going to start by having Cindy, can you hold Chandler's head in a neutral inline position and maintain that? Then I'm going to check my CMS. So I want to compare my pulses. I've got equal bilateral pulses. Can you go ahead and squeeze my fingers? I can compare my grip strength. Can you tell me which finger I'm touching? Thumb. And can you tell me which finger I'm touching? Pinky. I'm going to do the same on the feet. I'm going to compare those pulses. I have equal bilateral pulses. Can you wiggle your toes? And can you tell me which toe I'm touching? Big. And can you tell me which toe I'm touching? Little. All right. Next, I'm going to have Chandler sit up nice and tall. So to do that, I'm going to take my forearm, place it against his sternum, and help hold his chin. Then talking to my patient, Chandler, when I tell you to, I'm going to have you pivot at your hips, press your sternum against my forearm, and sit up nice and tall. OK? OK. On three. One, two, three. Anything hurt? No. Then I'm going to apply my C collar, measure, All right, Cindy, I'm going to come in behind you there with your hands. Check my C collar that it's straight, not a big cap, and it sits on the traps and your ears aren't trapped. Now I'm ready for the seated backboard. So the KED has three straps in the center, has two straps that go around the legs, and it comes with some padding if needed. So we'll set our padding aside for now. Remove our head straps, set those aside for now, and then put this behind our patient. Cindy? I'm going to slide this in behind Chandler and right up through your arms. Right? Now, Chandler, I'm going to have you lift up your arms for me. This is going to go high and tight in my patient's armpits. If I have a cooperative patient, I can have him put his arms down and squeeze. Chandler, put your arms down and squeeze for me. If I don't have that cooperative patient, I'll show you something else you can do. We're going to start with our middle strap. We're going to do that middle strap first because it positions the KED proper. If we do the top strap, it's going to, it's going to pivot it back. So we're going to do our middle strap first. When I get close to tight, I'm going to take one hand in the middle and push one hand and pull. That way I don't rotate my patient. Then my bottom strap. Again, push and pull. Now that I have my middle and bottom, and I have this high and tight in Chandler's armpit, I'm going to move to my leg straps. If you don't get this high and tight in your patient's armpits and you have someone tall like Chandler, the strap, the uh, head protection is going to hit his traps and you won't be able to close it. Or if you go to lift your patient, it's going to slide up. So you need that high and tight in your patient's armpits.
with my leg straps, they're designed where I have two options. One option is to go under the leg and cross, or if we have a fractured pelvis, we're gonna go on the same side. I'm gonna show you without a fractured pelvis and crisscross. So I'm gonna take the patient's right side, slide that underneath his leg, and then floss that back and forth under his leg so it's in line with the center of his back. Now this is the point where I need to communicate with my patient about moving parts that could get pinched. So Shannon, this is going to go tight in your groin. If there's any parts you need to move so they don't pinch, now's the time to do it. Good. left, slide that underneath the thigh, flossing it back and forth. Shannon, if you need to adjust anything, go ahead and adjust before I tighten this. Let me know if anything pinches, okay? Okay. All right, now I've got my legs tightened, my middle and bottom. Now I can come to the head. I'm going to evaluate behind the patient's head to see if I need padding. I've got Chandler sitting up nice and tall and his back is straight, so I don't need any padding there. A lot of bariatric patients or geriatric patients that have more of a curve in their back will require a bit more padding. Cindy's holding those tight to Chandler's head, secure. This is going to secure his head in. Now Cindy can go ahead and let go because we have him stabilized there. And before I move Chandler, I'm gonna secure the top strap because this strap can impede his breathing. So again, push and pull, and then reevaluate the rest of my straps. I'm gonna recheck my CMS, my pulses, good equal bilateral pulses. Chandler, can you squeeze my fingers? Can you tell which finger I'm touching? Thumb. Can you tell which finger I'm touching? The key. Reevaluate the CMS on the feet. I have equal bilateral pulses. Can you wiggle your toes? Can you tell which toe I'm touching? Big. Can you tell which toe I'm touching? Pinky. All right. Now we're going to lift Chandler up, move him to the backboard. Once he's on the backboard, those leg straps will keep his legs up, kind of like a dead cockroach. So we need to release the leg straps. That will allow his legs to lay down flat and will release the top strap so we don't impede his, uh, the rise and fall of his chest when he breathes. And then we're going to transport our patient. That is our seated backboard or KED.